will be an incredible car to excite people around the world. The car is light, it has a lot of downforce to be agile and nimble. We will do only 40 of them and they will cost 5 million each. The project Divo is reminiscent of Albert Divo, who was a Grand Prix pilot in the late 1920s and racing actually for the Bugatti Molsheim factory equipe. On his Type 35, he is probably remembered most for his two consecutive victories in one of the most grueling and demanding mountain races that existed at the time, which is the Targa Florio in Sicily. For the Devo project, we've kept and further developed our Bugatti Design DNA features. But on top of that, we've also taken the opportunity to exercise our freedom and create a completely new form language. Devo is not a concept or show car. Devo is built for actual road use. More downforce, less weight, more g-force, resulting in a faster lap time. Devo takes us back to the days when Jean Bugatti, the son of company founder Ettore, created one of his most memorable masterpieces in Bugatti history, the Type 57 SC Atlantique, probably one of the most valuable cars in today's automotive vintage world. We are reinforcing our pedigree in coach building made in Molsheim. The coach building gave us in the engineering the opportunity to build up a new radical exterior with aerodynamic features on a given base and to give the customer a complete new feeling, especially driving in the corners. The uncompromising interpretation of the Devo towards lateral dynamics has opened up a new set of possibilities for us, expressed in a more performance-oriented design. This one is quite a bit more beast. Happiness is not around the corner, it is the corner. The Devo is made for corners. And I can't wait to have the world premiere at the Quay Lodge on the 24th of August. So stay tuned and we will tell you more.